كل واحد في الحرب عباد ولا What do you think? Anything we learn? Yeah. So what we learn up to now? Lesson uh, two. Feasibility. Feasibility. Yes, we discuss about feasibility. We discuss importance of feasibility report for the project. <coughs> yeah. What else? Yeah. So the key concepts uh, are such as uh, stakeholders, shareholders. Excellent. We discuss about stakeholders and shareholders. So, what is the difference between stakeholder and shareholder? So, the, the stakeholders could be such as the public um, and employees, whereas uh, the, the shareholders have a, a little bit more of a financial gain, so they will own or um, be part, part, part of the actual organization. Brilliant. So shareholders is mean the investor in the project, and the right. stakeholders mean anybody who has any interest in. And then we also discuss about product uh, project and product life cycle as well. Yes. Yeah. So we discuss initiate, we discuss plan, we discuss execute, we discuss monitor, control, evaluate, and close the project. We discuss different stages of the product life cycle, growth, introductory growth, maturity, and decline as well. Okay. Anything else? We learn about PBS, product breakdown structure. We learn about work breakdown structure. We discuss about statement of work. We discuss in our second lesson, program evaluation review technique. We discuss about CPA is called the critical path analysis. We discuss TQM total quality management. Do you remember TQM? What is meant by TQM total quality management? What is about? Anybody ever we learn before? Or? What is the no. TQ, total quality management? Okay, total quality management uh, is uh, maybe you heard about ISO. We discuss about ISO 9000, ISO 14000. Yeah. So ISO is an international standardization organization which issue the normally quality certificate. And QQM <coughs> total quality. Every your decision will be based on the quality. So like the quality worker, quality raw material, quality time, yes, quality yes. product, everything you based on the quality. So ISO is a part of, it is a quality certificate, which is issued. They normally check three things we discussed in last lesson. What, if you, what you are doing, you have a documentary evidence, sorry, what you are saying, same thing you are doing and you have a documentary evidence. If you're saying this product is contain this this sort of vitamin for suppose is a medicine, so it should be contain it. It's and you have a documentary evidence, and of course you can get you know the quality certificate. And uh, we discuss different types of cost as well. Those are associated with the project. We discuss about investment appraisal, how we can appraise those project as well. We discuss ADR, GDR. We discuss friends and uh, a girl and today lesson will move to our LO3. Any question from previous <coughs> lesson? Oh, no. Okay, so today lesson LO3, we have three assessment criteria. Explain, evaluate, and analyze analysis. So that's which we'll go through. And uh, that's will be focused in it's the key thing is a communication plan, how we can make it, how we can communicate with the stakeholders. That's the key thing. Second key element is the stakeholders and how we can look around their stakeholders' expectation and we'll try to meet them. 
we'll discuss about culture. Culture represents the organization structure, norms, value, the way we do. Of course, past experience, intelligence, group affiliation, positional difference among personnel, functional relationships, sender and receiver in terms of communication, which we'll go through. Any question? No. Okay. So we have a key thing in our today lesson and our LO, which is about communication. How we can make effective communication? What come in your mind? What is meant up by effective communication? How we can communicate effectively? We have to, to enhance the communication skills. Okay. Yes, good. We have yeah. to enhance, of course. And to, and to interpersonal skills as well. Okay. Anything else? We have to understand the level of the the second person. We we'll have to communicate with. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. So sender, message, and receiver. <coughs> yeah. So. What you want to deliver, you're delivering through message, yes, different mode of communication. And yeah. your interpretation and the receiver interpretation will be the same, yes? Mm. So different norms and different ways. Like if I'll say to you, red color. So what's come in your mind, red color? What shows red color if somebody wearing the red? Uh... Angry or is a sign of what? Sign of happiness? No, sign of angry or sign of sign of angry. Yeah. Why in some culture is a sign of happiness? Yeah, it depends on the culture. That means we have to understand the culture. <laughs> yes, you want to communicate effectively. We need to understand the culture. Yes. Yeah. Your project can't be successful if you don't understand the culture. Yeah. Yes, so because red color, and what about white color in India, especially in Indian market? White color? Yes. No, I don't know. Have you watched any Hindi movies? Yeah, before, 30, minutes, 30 years ago. 30 years ago, okay. <laughs> so... White color, yeah, or white saris, yes, is clothes is wearing by women. It's a represent. This is the sadness. Somebody died in family wearing the white. Or oh, white. Yes. Opposite, also, uh, opposite to Arabic country, <clears throat> what is to uh, black? Yes. Yeah, so in Arabic country is a black. But in yeah. Japanese market, the white color is represent the sign of happiness. Yeah. So red flowers normally is the sign of love, sign of happiness in most of countries. In China, in some parts, is the red color mean anger, yes, sadness. Yeah. So we need to understand the cultures, yes, and communication need to be designed accordingly. That's the main thing. Huh? Which yeah. will go. Okay. So up to now, you can rate yourself. Maybe when you start learning this project management, how many concepts you were knowing before and how many you learn new things. Huh? So you yeah. carry on rating yourself. So next now we're looking to explain the key component of project communication plan. So if we want to make communication plan, Within a project, so first of all, we need to understand the project life cycle. Yes, okay. Project life cycle because different communication need to be at different stage. Yes, yeah. Second, we need to understand the stakeholders. Mm. Of course, you need to communicate with the stakeholders. So, what makes successful project if you want to be make successful project? First of all, you need clear objective. Yeah. Plan and control method. <clears throat> and control method. Mm. Good quality project manager you should hire. Mm. Good management 
support yes need from management yeah Ayo. and enough time and resources and teamwork commitment from all high user involvement yes we need and the key thing within that is a good communication good project organization and structure yes structure is also is very crucial yes Co control and being able to stop the project yes when it's complete any question no okay then next we look in the communicating some people say that this is the most important aspect of project manager's task communications involve talking to the project sponsor who's sponsoring the project who's giving you money yeah if yeah. sponsor <clears throat> because every sponsor whoever sponsor the project yeah they have some objective behind that's why they giving you money even okay. is a government yes even is uh, any other company even the research you know you doing and any project you doing the sponsors can be are your employer sponsoring you to do any course there is a objective behind so object sponsor the team the project team and the outside the world you must establish the excellent communication with the project sponsor the people who commission the work to make sure that they share an understanding and achieve and progress yes the brief yes. member of the project team we need to do keep in line the communication open and close yes yes yeah. we need to look around we have to ask we that's why is very crucial since the individual on the team different areas of expertise and have a master of some form of jargon so think about different word different jargon so you need to be understandability of and the level of not using high volume word maybe not understand and in different trade you know if i'm using for in finance debit and credit so maybe debit and credit is come what's come in your mind debit and credit have you learned anything or heard about debit and credit you are just in general like in accounting yes yeah if i'll say you know my account is debit yes yeah so what come in your mind when your bank account is debit you have you... money sorry you have credit you have money that means you have money in your bank when your bank do debit your account what they do I'm communicating my stakeholders, my shareholders, my team mm. that we have a debit balance in bank. Cash, yeah. yes. So when your salary come in your account, what you say? My account is in credit, yes. Yeah. So credit mean increase in bank account. Yeah. And debit mean decrease. Oh yeah. so i need, if i'm saying you know my account is debit my account is credit and my stakeholders not understand what is meant by these i need to simple say increase or decrease my bank balance i am a positive bank balance cash balance or credit mm. and everybody they are expecting they are really want to be their salary their expenses their expectation be fulfilled so only we can when we have money yeah, yeah. that's why we need to involve them communication communication strategy we need to communicate people with the different stakeholders keep them informed especially think about now in the crisis yes yes especially this corona virus and all so we need to look around the briefing we need to arrange the consultation meeting we need to send email then update yes yeah then we need to look around the fundamental how the business case is yes we are prepared we make the project for it financial component we need to communicate 
they need to develop the communication strategy to inform the stakeholders always identify the stakeholder who they are to whom we want to act, act, uh, communicate any question up to there no okay so first you need to understand the background of you need to look around what sort of communication what communication tools you will use letters email yes you need to be understand what your audience are so otherwise no so evaluate the benefit of project communication plan stakeholders project why why we need to be what are the benefit of effective communication any question anyone please what we can say what do you think why is effective communication and what are the benefit what are the benefit? Benefits of uh, effective communication. Um, you can have a more efficient um, output. Efficient less output. Less rework, less duplication. Uh, well done. Very well said. Good. So we can say maybe you heard about three E's concept. Anybody ever learn three E's? Sorry? Anybody ever learn about the effectiveness, economy, or we call economics, and last one we called efficiency. Yes? Okay. So always we measure the performance. Effectiveness mean if I'm saying 90% customer are should be satisfied. Yes. Yeah. I come on. Okay. So if I'm saying 90% need to be satisfied. Yes. Yeah. And we look in term of any performance in time. We discuss already in cost in quality yes yeah whatever the benchmark you set as a standard if you meet it you are very effective <clears throat> effective mean if i'm saying 90 percent customer need to be satisfied and my 90 percent customer are satisfied i mean i set the standard to deliver things in 60 minutes and i'm i set the standard in 100 pounds and 90% customer need to be satisfied. So 90% is satisfied. In one hour, I'm delivering. 100 pound cost, I'm delivering. Yes, so I'm very effective. But if somebody is delivering in, instead of 60 minutes, delivering in 45 minutes, yes? Yeah. But the still is a customer satisfaction is a 90%. So you're not effective now. You are very economical. The next stage, yes? because you're reducing the time and the next stage is efficiency so our customer satisfaction is 95 percent first suppose yes we are delivering goods in 40 40 minutes and cost is 90 pound instead of 100 pound what do you think now you are very efficient yes in all areas in term of cost time and quality so we always need to be look around our communication need to be how much effective, how much economical and how much efficient. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody watch the program Undercover Boss? No. Yeah. It's quite no. good to watch is a lot of, you know, the CEO of the company because making a communication plan sitting in an office is very easy, but to deliver the message, the message being understood and any strategies or plan will make our project to make successful, we need to understand the ground reality, yes? Okay. So always is a crucial, that's why the undercover boss is quite, you know, is quite good approach. So the plan should be defined by using GAN chart. Do we learn about GAN? Have you we used the GAN chart? Yes, we discussed Henry Gant, who gave the chart. 
his name was in almost every organization in every job role we are using gantt chart in some form yes yeah so if you sharing your dashboard you know if you working in an organization look around your dashboard yes your computer dashboard is giving you all sort of communication how effective yes yeah. you carry on updating the share price of your market you carry on updating which new project which joint venture you have which new contract you got because even you don't have any concern with it because you are the stakeholders of the company as a employee you should be updated yes what is happening any question no okay next we looking it may be difficult to read from there okay now stakeholders we discuss different stakeholders so what objective expand operation improve customer service we want we want stakeholder register what their expectation far high must be regular briefing explain the situation and the benefit why we want to improve the service operational manager improve customer service excellent support for medium and high must be regular briefing explain the situation and benefit maintenance manager operation that will maintain position and influence we need seek opinion regular consultation and confirm the situation with them maintenance staff or suppose if we want to ease operation maintenance job yes we need to be for high and yes medium always we need to look around we need to brief operational staff support their work minimum descriptions yes we need to be how much involvement we need from them technological manager technology we need to look around regular consultation seek opinion explain situation supplier make profit ongoing business with the company for medium and not at start we don't need to be at start open channel yes regular consultation with the supplier because the supplier is a key thing for us to be deliver the service on time customer good service far low and not at start customer newsletter local community minimum disruptions in environment we need to be local community to be involved okay negotiation and project agreement so dealing with the stakeholders some of whom may be or far as some against it so that's why we need to be a matter of communication in order to get the final agreement for implementation of your project you have to be negotiate your business proposal specification may not be acceptable by steering committee or committee project committee we need to look around it may be conflict maybe something you know we discuss about hs2 hs3 how much is the cost we said how many million how many billion first of all they said 56 billion but now is 104 billion yes so lot of people is opposed it fast tracks rail service within the uk yes will cost next you know initially plan for 56 billion now is 104 billion why this is so high yes maybe we not listen all the stakeholders maybe that's why is cost you know we not really plan well accordingly initially okay any question okay next please can you rate yourself on st as a project manager skill using the tick boxes where one is not competent at all and five is very competent what do you mm. think so problem solving i would say four 
Um, results orientation, again, for self-confidence, maybe three. Um, perspective, I would say two. Communication, again, for uh, negotiating ability, I would say five, as part of my core job. And energy, energy and initiative, I would say, again, five, because uh, I'm still quite young and eager to learn and obviously progress. Good, well done. What do you think next? What about In problem solving? Yes. Let's say four. Result orientation three. Self confidence five. Perspective three. Communication four. Negative ability. Negotiation ability four. Energy and initiative four. Okay, what area do you need to improve in? I think problem solving is critical. Yes. Yeah, and negotiation ability as well. Yes, so that's, you know, we carry on reflecting because each project is a, is a quite different skill, yes? Yeah? Yeah. Each industry, each organization, each sector, each country. Yeah, so we need to look around. Maybe our, we are thinking the four now, but in new project it can be three, yes? Yeah. We need to understand. Okay, then we look next we're looking the stakeholders. We have a different metrics. The stakeholders' expectation is very important to understand. So classify the stakeholders in their power and interest. We'll look in this context and look around stakeholders power and interest so what do you think which stakeholders we can easily is a minimum effort required to convince them which set of stakeholders think about maybe in your own organization which one you think is a minimum effort required to satisfy them or maybe they have a high power or they have a low interest and low power. Uh, so maybe we can think about implies, we can think about supply, we can think about bank, we can think about local council, we can think about customer, normal customer, we can think about big supplier, we can think about big customer, yes? Yeah. We can think about in different yes some employees are very first suppose is IT head and no all making our IT plan if he leave it are we not fulfill their expectation what will be happen yes it will be big gap so keep satisfied keep informed key player yes what those are think about your shareholders some shareholder maybe 20 pound worth of the shares maybe some have a 20 million worth of the shares yes Key yeah. player. So you need to be look around the power and interest. How much interest they have, how much power they have. Maybe less power and high interest. Maybe high power and low interest. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to look around. Need to minimum effort and monitor. Stakeholders group B should be kept informed as may be able to influence more powerful. Stakeholder C are the powerful and the level of interest is low. So you need to be categorize them. We're not really going. You can look around your organization, your project here, and you communicate accordingly with them. Any question? Just a second, please. The, the stakeholder now, uh, there are four groups of stakeholder, okay? We can categorize into four. Okay. Mm. It depends upon the project, yes? Yeah. Okay, then map the stakeholders behavior. We can use the mapping document behavior wise, yes? Power yeah. of the stakeholder to influence the organization. Click T may see, yes? The relationship in term of desirability appropriateness urgency because some stakeholders were very urgent you need to be uh, inform them yes yes 
so we can look around according to this matrix we can look around the power agency and legitimacy we can divide into the groups yes yeah and we can look around subdivide into dormant yes quite you know discretionary and the demanding stakeholder some can be subdivide into so we can categorize and we can sub categorize yes yeah okay the next we looking now we looking basically communication area analyze the facts that that can affect communication there in the project life span throughout the project yes yeah? yeah. communication need to be internal internal is meant by within a within a organization some people some company they do communicate external but then they don't inform to the internal when the external people ask to the internal and sometimes they not aware of they hard under tally external stakeholder they are asking your company is offering this and this but actually employees are not of well aware of that is a big so what we need to do we need to make sure any question no external communication with the external stakeholder those are outside yes people yeah. and organization we need to be communicate yes we need to keep them press release marketing material advert brochure direct mailing all we need to there are the many reason why important business to achieve the effective it help to motivate employees balance form is easy to control and coordinate make successful decision if you involve then you inform them better communication with the customer it help to increase the sales improve the relationship improve the chances of obtain finance if you have a good relationship with ben, with the bank and you inform them yes yeah so next we see the link between the communication and motivation you may be learn about some different theories about motivation and maybe you learn about maslow yes different need hierarchy of needs yes different yeah. people have a different need maybe somebody don't have a food and you saying no 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 health is very important yes you do mm. this do this sun cream yes mm. but somebody don't have a food so food is a need for them yani you communicating very high and you using not right the source of communication yes mode yeah. or other channel of communication you need to really understand according to the mayo as well important communication is meeting the implied social need then the horse bait he gave two factor theory implies motivation he saying respect people need respect yes and you should be treat them they really want you that's why they are saying no company is paying the share they giving you shares as a reward why they giving you shares at the end of the year not just salary why some company giving you shares to encourage you sorry to work hard and in, in order to encourage you to work hard as well uh, to give a lot of yes, work hard but if we'll yeah. pay money you will work hard as well give you a sense of ownership then what you have to work for yes because they want to give you the sense of your owner in the business you not a employee anymore you are the owner in the business mm. when you have your own business what you will do you will you work yeah so is the important if the business will grow you will grow yes yeah so that's why they want you to partner in the business mm. so among other reason using communication through both most you know the motivation ensure everyone is working toward the same company goal enable employees to involve in the decision making employees can be offer the feedback and give suggestion people are motivated having clear target set for them not just you know say oh no no you do this you do that yes you been given the role you been given the responsibility you been informed why no some company they paying 80% salary to their employees this month 
of the total salary they paying 80% why are they paying 80% they don't have a cash due to the corona virus they are struggling uh. and we need to think about because we need to take on board first yes we need to communicate why we are doing this because we want to protect your job we don't want to make you redundant okay recognize the employee's achievement you should be recognized who is sponsoring who is motivating who is working hard who is giving more contribution more result organization yes mm. what are the barrier to communication what are the barriers maybe you, language language can be barrier yes. and sometimes if you say something to one person and same person will say same things to other person yes and mm. adding one word extra it may be at the end you know the user will be different message yeah so we need to be written yes clearly yes precisely understandably we need to geographical distance between firms offices yes production mm. plant other outlet communication mm. overload what do you think how many messages how many facebook how many emails you have yes so maybe you need to look around the prioritize it yes not send too many emails yes, yes. those are important because sometime messages too much overload and they can create a barrier may be important message you missed any question there no okay then we need to understand in term of uh, organization structure yes metric organization is mean you have a in a organization you have a hr department that uh, production department other department yes marketing mm. but in the metric organization your organization structure stay the same and you from each department you sending 1% to project each project yes mm. your organization structure never will be finished yes like yeah. if you look there we have a this sort of we have a marketing operation finance and hr yes? then you have a people from working in the project a project b project c b yes yeah so this sort of organization structure is called metric structure which is a project based organization used and that's easy to communicate yes between them any questions no okay advantages of course can help you know to break down the traditional department barriers improve communication can allow individual to use skills, yes different department skill into different projects the advantage can be sometime you will loyal with one project maybe you're not loyal with the other project and sometime it can create a conflict as well loyalty issues any question no okay okay so functional structure sometime functional different department it can be sometime advantages like owning the function should have the relevant expertise if is a your hr you may be relevant and you have experience yes but it may be mentality can be a big issue yes your loyalty can be like earlier we said yes motivation can be sometime problem you are a hr person but you are a project a you working on the project b and the c as well yes which project you are loyal maybe we need to think about that eh? your project structure or staff is assigned to the project team sometime it can be advantage some disadvantage project manager is the full authority over the project grouping necessary resources into the project rapid decision yes yeah? sometime can be disadvantage any question there is good to be we can look around these you know different advantage different organization structure and have and we need to create the contract and the partners we need to create clear communication between them we always need to be look around in in house project and 
we need to look around different price yes in house and external resources we do within within our organization or we can bring outside resources we need to use and we need to communicate effectively with them choosing organization structure in house project freelance project and we need to choose the communication plan accordingly if you do within a house of course is own advantage because your resources your expertise are you giving contract outsource huh? so freelance can be what is the freelance do we know the freelance project manager no like a project manager comes in for a certain amount of time or maybe just for that project um and then and then we'll leave or it'll have many projects in one go and um, will be for many different customers excellent great you know like it company normally they have many projects yes so like now financial in a list can work various company as a freelancer yeah as a project manager for so maybe the loyalty can be a problem then can be a communication so we need to think about huh, when we assign the task in house project contractor always is each of type have own advantage disadvantage i copied one case study for you so it's good to read is the kellogg yes so when they start and launch the new product and how they prepare the communication plan with the various stakeholders so please it's good to read yes so they prepare the sender this is normally is the communication Three hundred, too much. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely. I need to reduce it. Yes. Okay. Can we see? This is the communication plan. Yes. Yeah. Always, you have a, you are the sender. You known as the encoding. You using the media is the yes, which mode of communication, decoding, and that's the receiver. Yes. because mm. it depends and there can be hurdles noise that can be create a problem yes maybe you sending the message is a different meaning the person interpret it the different meaning yes and then communication response you give the feedback is a regular process it's never stopped any question there no so this is the proper you know we need to look around they have identify and they use this they did research their overall objective they deliver the message they identify the audience they use the channel appropriate they find the finding they evaluate it and then they did they carry on channel internal communication they did yes they research and they identify the stakeholder they develop the greater understanding the impact of kellogg long term support yeah? they identify the target audience and the target stakeholders and they communicate with them so please it's good to read huh? that will help us to further you know this is proper communication plan is which used by kellogg when they launch the new product okay so that's some barriers we already discuss now next now last bit okay please are we ready a bit quiz yes it's not a quiz really yes to dwell power on that okay are we ready now let's yeah. please so what do you think the key benefit of using a letter as a method of communication is that informal informal a letter is a informal no okay no problem we'll go through we'll recap huh? don't worry it's just a matter of developing understanding okay 
no a day's most business communication is electronic well done correct the communication method most often used to collect information email no problem we'll go to a method of internal communication would be staff briefing staff briefing yes good well done a detailed issue which needs to be communicated formally is the best dealt with using formally email oh. a key advantage face to face communication advantage it allows immediate feedback well then correct which of these is an example of external communication board meeting external communication press release sorry board meeting no it's not okay communication of information that is confidential and personal is best done face to face yes well done okay communication where the information is exchanged by the people who can see each other who can see each other internal face to face we'll go face to face yes is correct it can be internal but it can be face to face these are all the example of meeting except which one there are all the other things except which one the email newsletter well then okay good so we can go back so first was flexible a benefit of the latter as a method of communication is a flexible yes you can read it whenever yes you can say no days most of the communication which we said is a form yes like google form and various other forms yes yeah? what about okay. next a detailed issues which need to be communicated formally is the best dealt with the user but but this one uh, communicate formally the formal communication should be no no the detailed issue detailed always goes in the report yes we write the reports you know mm. we get the findings and the figures in the report huh? okay. like financial statement annual report huh? yeah okay this one press release yes external communication yes you release the press yes press release any question well done great so okay that's all today we today lesson we learn about uh, lo3 and if you have please any question drop me email thanks for attending and my email address anjumatuniversity.co.uk so in the next lesson we'll go through our lo4 and we have five lo's and we'll go through the further six lesson assignment brief as well and i'll discuss with you how we can address all the learning outcome if you have any question please drop me email and i hope so i will speak you all by next lesson okay any question no thank you